İnşallah ağzı billahi min şeytan edeyim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ne kadar da çıkıyor. İlk yer. So. Atiye Allah, atiye Rasulü olayım. İnşallah. A reminder that uh, an email that we got that the drawing of of creatures and cartoons and, and different things and the manifestation of those drawings and those realities that uh, the, the immensity of, of the creation that Allah has made from us and the reality of the power of the qalam as a reminder that this finger has access to the light and this is the bringing of the excess light of the soul is travelling through this index finger. The thumb has the reality of our identity. One of the miracles that Allah gave to insan is the qalam and as a result of this power of light and the power of their identity Allah gave the miracle of manifestation by this qalam that our creation has the ability to have kun fayakun be and it will be and it will appear. Now from the greater to the lesser. The lesser is as soon as you write it's appearing. That which wasn't there before as soon as you write it, it appears. So this is now a, a reality of manifestation. You make a circle, well that wasn't there before, as soon as you drew it, it appeared. So it means this power of kun fayakun and the power that Allah gave that's why the alam bil qalam, this is the, the reality of this pen and this finger and this thumb of what it's capable of. And that's the nobility of our creation. So the dark side is that because of this power of manifestation then people are drawing and children are drawing and the power that they don't know that they have and you see it in every horror movie, you see like all of a sudden when there's a demon the child is like sketching, sketching frantically images of demons and people are looking at their drawings and say, what is this? Because this is a sign from Allah that that which we begin to draw it has the power of manifesting and conjuring. So when you're drawing negative things, bad images, animes and all of these different types of drawings that people are doing, they don't understand why shaitan inspires them for those drawings. It's those drawings are manifesting. So somebody who has a spiritual ability said that they started to witness certain creatures in their home. They don't understand why these creatures are appearing in the home. Later they found that the child was drawing them from these animes, was drawing like you know the demon in the, in the cartoon that was made to be funny and, and, and nice because they make demons nice in cartoons, Disney is famous for that taking every type of satanic understanding and adding a little bit of a music and a hat to it and it dances and now it's a dancing shaitan. So the kids were drawing it and as they were drawing this because of their innocence these energies were manifesting. So someone in the house had the ability to have spiritual inclinations and, and visions and was seeing these things that are manifesting in the house. And that was an imp important reminder for me to bring that up that these are, are dangers. That these are the dangers that when children are drawing these things to tell them that please that don't draw this because these types of energies begin to manifest, you know draw something beatific, you know write Allah, draw the calligraphy of Sayyidina Muhammad draw something beatific from Allah's nature but to monitor those types of things because these are a form of conjuring. So they have the ability to draw a negative. And that's the power of kun fayakun. So like 
Now they have 3D pens. So imagine you, you draw like a nice wheel, it's manifesting. Allah is showing now to the next level, you're actually able to manifest with the 3D pen you buy from Amazon. You draw something and nice and all of a sudden it's manifesting, Allah is, is, is reminding for us, you have the same ability. So when you're drawing something negative, it's actually manifesting somewhere in the home. And that's the danger of conjuring and, and bringing these realities. Now with the understanding go to the positive, that with that positive, alam bil qalam, as soon as the servant is writing means that these haqqaiqs that never existed for that servant. We said it's one thing to listen to a, a reality, inshaAllah you caught something from it. There are some who can listen and with their soul they can try to absorb its reality, that's another level. But a whole different reality is to write. It's not the comparable to recording, it's not comparable to anything else. As soon as you write it's that same understanding that with power of kun fayakun you wrote like a haqqaiq that Sayyidina Muhammad's light is everything created from that light for example. That the angel that monitors and has to write every action that you do just wrote that. So that reality that you wrote, you've manifested its haqqaiq onto your own kitab. And as a result your kitab has now truths from the highest levels of heaven which most people's kitab has nothing other than they woke up, they had coffee, they yelled, they screamed, they did their email, they went to work, they came home, they yelled at their family. It's the, it goes in and out of the day. Nobody's kitab is, is manifesting haqqaiqs of heaven and the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's what the importance is. So imagine then now the angels are writing on that book all these realities are now manifesting on the kitab of this person. All its blessings, all its realities, all its dress are dressing upon that soul. So it means that every time they're writing and they're writing realities then all of these blessings and realities are dressing them, blessing them and changing their kitab. As a result of changing the kitab, again every emanation and blessing begins to dress the servant because he's no longer a regular servant. This servant is now a custodian of the treasures of heavens, the highest levels of treasures that Allah can bestow are the treasures and the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad So then the person whom writes them is now a custodian for those treasures and those jewels and the gems of, of uh, all of paradises and all of realities of creation. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and give us more and more understanding of these realities to protect us and to dress us and bless us towards the goodness. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. And I mean so many ways to participate, to help, to share, share the links, share the books, share the reviews. Uh, go to Fatima Zara Helping Hand, take the link, share that onto Facebook, make comments on the video. You don't have to make comments on somebody else's comment, it's to make our own unique comment on just… I've seen people like there's a comment, oh I like the video shake and then there's 10 other comments below them, yeah great, great. No. Make your own comment because the algorithm for YouTube is if a video has 300 or 400 or 500 comments then they place it as something favourable and then they put it into the next person's feed that they will likely like this video because other people like their video. So they have a mathematical formula. So any of those things that you can share, there's so many ways to participate based on the flavour and the desire and the likes that you have that there's no reason not to be active and no, there's no way that people are, oh shaykh I have no way of, of being active. No, it's just to click away is your activity. Take a link and share it onto Facebook, take a link and share it onto somebody's website or a website or a blog inshaAllah. I'll address you, bless you and inshaAllah we'll see everybody tomorrow night. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. 
آمین یا رب العالمین سلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته و علیکم سلام سلام علیکم سلام علیکم